My name is Liam Wells. I'm the Managing Editor of the Elements in Law, Economics and Politics. I'll be working alongside the five co-editors and also 10 associate editors who are spread over different universities all across the globe. As managing editor, I'll be coordinating between this large team and moving forward the whole process of publishing the elements. So, for example, I'll be undertaking a preliminary review of each submission before I send it on to the co-editors. I'll be in close contact with those making submissions, with reviewers and with the whole team of editors to ensure that each element gets delivered on time and to the highest standard of quality. In my view, the element series is a fantastic innovation. The concept actually fills a gap in the market, so the length of each element is somewhere in between that of a journal article and a book. And that's important because often there's too much material for a journal article, but the scholarship isn't yet ready to be published as a book. So now research at this stage can be published as an element. Uh, it can get out there already, and it can become the subject of debate in the academic community, which is, of course, crucial to the development of world-class quality research. In addition to this, there's the possibility of extra material to make the content more accessible and more engaging, and to facilitate its entry into the undergraduate and the graduate classrooms. The elements in law, economics and politics hold faithful to this format, the same as other element series, but here we also add some extra features. So first, we have five different tracks, law and economics theory, law and economics evidence and policy, law and business, law and politics, and law, society and development. For the first year, we'll be soliciting submissions from the biggest names in these fields, and after this, we'll open the series for unsolicited submissions. Second, the content of our element series will be both forwards-looking and backwards-looking, but always innovative. So by backwards-looking, we mean that any published pieces may constitute a critical analysis of existing literature, but only so long as this is done adopting some new perspective of tool or tool, say a new theory, a novel data set, or a new empirical method. Then, of course, other published ele elements will be entirely forwards-looking and include completely new research, which we anticipate will open up completely new strands of literature. Thirdly, every element in our series will adopt an interdisciplinary approach. So the series is open to submissions from the most advanced methodologies in biology, economics, law, management, political science, psychology, and sociology. Fourth, we interpret the format concept of the element as follows. So, Every element will be indexed as a monograph, but it will ideally range between 20,000 and 30,000 words in length. We will not publish submissions shorter than 10,000 words, and we are unlikely to publish submissions greatly in excess of 30,000 words. And we feel this gives us sufficient range to prospective contributors to ensure that we receive and publish the submissions that we want. In addition, we also require that each element encompasses at least one piece of extra material, but we take a flexible approach to what might be included. So, for example, a summary video, accompanying exercises, unpublished data sets, policy prescriptions, reading lists. It's a non-exhaustive list. Finally, each element will be, opened, um, will be offered open access for the first publication month and permanently thereafter for a fee. Our review process is very thorough indeed. So after receiving an initial review from myself to check language and editing style, each element will then be reviewed by two co-editors and by two associate editors. It will also be scrutinized by one external reviewer. And thanks to the scope of expertise on our editorial team, each piece submitted will be allocated to one of the specialist tracks and face review by experts in that specific niche within law, economics and politics. Finally, the whole series will be accompanied by a blog where the published material will be the subject of academic discussion from the moment it is released. So in summary, there's a lot to look forward to regarding the elements in law, economics and politics. It will have a significant impact on the whole field, and I'm excited to be working with the team on this series.